Hey guys, it's Yobun Man here, back with another video, and today, on Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex, we're gonna start collecting the secret gems, so first we're gonna start off with Compactor Reactor. Alright guys, so here we are back in Compactor Reactor, going for the secret gem. Good thing we don't have to get any more relics. Um, actually this secret gem is a lot... I think it's a lot harder than I actually remember, because, um, we have to be really quick on the minecart, because there's a bunch of nitros. And yes, I did practice this, because I knew it was going to be hard. Won't be nearly as hard as the relic braces, though. Alright, basically all we gotta do is tilt our joystick down to keep breaking, and then just slightly tilt it towards whatever direction we need to. Like, see, sometimes you can even tell. Those. Oh, that one's a hard one. Oh wow, I shouldn't have, uh... I shouldn't have... Oh, I, oh, I got the gem. I thought it was longer than that. Anyways, I shouldn't have needed Aku Aku. I could have easily avoided that. I should have needed it for that other part, maybe. Alright guys, so we just got that secret gem by doing some nice minecart tricks. It was still a lot easier than relics, so next secret gem is in Bonsai Bonsai. Alright guys, so now we are once again playing as Coco Bandicoot. Um, I don't think this is the last time, I think we have another secret gem in another Coco level. All the time on that one, so yeah, I think we have uh, another secret gem to get on another Coco level. The second one, I believe, in the next world. Alright, so basically for those con who are still confused about the secret gems, or checkpoint. Um, so all they are is just gems that you get after you complete a path that's been unlocked by one of the colored gems. And that path that you've unlocked is usually really hard. So you need to put all your skill into it. I mean, at least the paths aren't that long, and there are checkpoints here, so in one way, it makes it easier than the relics. Alright, see, two checkpoints already. Something relic braces aren't generous enough to provide. Oh! Alright guys, so as you can see, we needed the red gem to unlock this path, so let's go on it. And we're being carried away. And now we have to make it past here, without dying. Oh, there's these two guys. Oh man. We're supposed to just like squeeze in between there, I think. Which is... Okay, good. Ha. Huh. We killed that bird too. Alright, so now we can jump up here, with all the nitros. And I hear the end, actually. Alright, so now we're going to jump over these two flames. And now that one, wait for it. There we go. Okay, we got to land perfectly on that iron box, which we did, so good for us. Oh, oh no! Alright guys, we have a golden Aku Aku mask. Nothing can stop us unless... Like, we- whoa! A new power-up? Wow, what is this? The Super Belly Flop. That's like from Crash Warped. Wow, I didn't even know this existed. Oh, I wonder what we need it for. Anyways. Alright, gotta jump over this fire. Yay, we got- we got the gem. Alright guys, so even though that gem was really hard to get, just like the last one, I can promise you that for the next secret gem that we're about to get in Tsunami, I will... It will be easier. 
Okay, guys, so once again, we're, we're in another level with uh, Coco Bandicoot. I'm honestly getting so sick and tired of her. She can't do the death tornado spin, and she doesn't have the fruit bazooka. I mean, at least we have a gold Aku Aku mask. So, um, yeah. And we have to use her one more time, but I know the gem of her, what we have to do next with her is just like going through a few rings or whatever they're called. It's the snowboarding one. Oh, look at what we have here. It's invisibility. Anyways, we have to go through this tsunami first. Is it, is it circle? Yeah, it's circle. To speed up. All right, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. But then again, I say that all the time and it always ends up being a big problem. So yeah, I'm never right. Oh, well, would you look at that? Oh yay, checkpoint right here. So as a matter of fact, we got this platform right here, which will take us to the secret gem. And we needed the blue gem to unlock it, as you can see from its color. Alright, so over here we just gotta do a little bit of parkour. I mean, not so hard so far, but I think it's gonna get harder. So we gotta go on these upside down canoes, or whatever they are, boats. Yeah, I'll just call them boats. Oh, now we gotta go on this boat. Oh, okay, I guess Aku Aku isn't that useful here. Now I have to jump to that one. Wow. Okay. Oh! Okay, nice. Oh, we got these now. Awesome. Oh! Yay, the gem. Okay, guys, so now I believe the fire... Oh, that was the fire world, okay. So, do we have anything left? No, so the fire world, the water, and the air world are all complete, so let's... Oh, no, sorry. The water and earth world, not air. We still got air to do. We got two gems in the air world. So first, we're going to start off with the Coco Bandicoot level avalanche. Okay guys, so I believe to get the secret gem in this world, we have to go on the snowboard and go through all of the poles. Now, I don't know how hard that's gonna be. I'm gonna get this just in case it's Aku Aku. He's probably not gonna help here though. Okay, good. Checkpoint right there. Thank you very much. I just noticed most of the Coco levels are named after natural disasters. Jump. And jump. Oh no. And jump. Spin. Sometimes you miss the spin. All right, so here's the part. Okay. Ah, yes. See, there's a score thing right there. So we gotta follow the trail of Wampa Fruit. Oh, wow. Oh, no. I don't know if we're gonna do this. Don't worry, we have checkpoints. That's the thing, guys. So don't worry about me. Ah. All right, Avalanche, you kill me now. Oh, 
Oh, yay. We earned the gem. Alright, so that was a nice, fun secret gem to collect. I don't know why I just got that. Okay, everyone. So now that we got that gem, we're going to finish off collecting all the secret gems in the air world. Okay, so we're here in Droid Void, and I believe the secret gem is just like some of the other ones, like where we just have to get on a platform and then go through the route with checkpoints, obviously. So unfortunately, we have to climb on this thing for about a half hour before we can get anywhere. Oh, but I do see a good friend up ahead. I'm sure he'll help. And hey, now we have... Now it's just a crash platform level. We don't got a minecart, and we don't got Kogo. We just have plain old crash, which is great, because he's got everything. He's got death, tornado spin. He's got the fruit bazooka for any nitros. Everything. Alright. Oh no. Ah. Oh. So I guess we have to go on this yellow robot thing. Or wait. No, that was the bonus. I just saw. I don't actually remember seeing any type of gem path in this level. But then again, I don't remember most things that I see for the first time. I mean, it's not even the first time, so that's the sad part. I've... Oh! But yeah, I have played this, uh, done a 100% playthrough on this once. Like, I've beaten it 100%. I wasn't recording it, obviously. It was a long time ago. I probably did a lot of research on how to do so, because this was one of the harder Crash games. Crash Warped was so easy. I'm not complaining about that at all, though. Let's get him out of the way. Why can't I con ever control his cannon? Okay, where is this secret gem? I want it bad. And I want it now. Oh yay, a checkpoint. Alright, let's hit that. Kill all those guys off. Oh. Okay. I thought he was gonna run to the, to the other side. Okay, so we have these crates. This is just like a... normal level now. Which we haven't done in a long time since we finished collecting all the crystals. So let's get those up there. Oh yay, it killed them both. Ah, here it is. This time it's the purple gem. Oh, so each, each uh, colored gem unlocks one path. So far there's been one for each, and I haven't seen any, like, duplicates. The one for the minecart, I believe, was yellow. So the only one left is the green gem, I think. Yeah. I wonder what level that'll be. Maybe Cortex Vortex. Yeah, I think it was Cortex Vortex. We actually still have to collect that other one, too. We missed a gem in Cortex Vortex. From getting all the crates. We missed one box. And I know where it is, too, but I couldn't go back to it because when we did the boss level, it locks all the other levels. 
so I'll have to come back to that level maybe in the next part. Okay, oh, we didn't even get one. Come on, we're better than this. Okay, you know what? There we go, he can't even aim at us. Okay, let's get him. Come on. Just point your target. Oh, yay. What? We didn't get Aku Aku? That sucks. Okay, come on, where's the target? Okay. Nice. Alright, we got those. Okay, we must get him. Because he looks like he's right in our way. Get him. Let's get a little bit closer without falling. There we go. He's done for. Oh yes! There's the warp. Come on, sorry I'm taking so long to get all these nitros. This cannon is so hard to control. Like, it's not just like a free roaming... Yay! The gem. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this part. Um, I gotta say, I'm really satisfied by how much we got completed today. We just got 100% on four of the worlds, and we only have one world left to get the secret gems on. And I think, yeah, that's Cortex Vortex. So, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play part. Next time we'll be getting these two gems in Cortex Vortex. I hope you like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.